perceptions are going to be changed a bit. If you want to know what real cravings are, what real misery is, just go keto for a week and, and then you'll see and try to work out too. So it's almost like they, <laughs> different competitors and coaches will have their guys do this uh, just to show them. Basically like shut up, stop whining, you don't know what real cravings are. I think it's a funny, and it's a simple, and I'm sure it works. I mean, there's a, quite a few people that, quite a few coaches that are good coaches that do that. And, and then their guys just have a, you know, uh, they reevaluate things and they go, okay, well, I guess my 180 grams of carbs per day, like now those carbs are all of a sudden satisfactory and they're not dreaming about eating apple pies and stuff. Um, so that's the high carb sales pitch. There's truth in it. Um, nothing wrong with that. This is not just some theory. When glycogen stores are low uh, in, and you eat carbs, your body, before it's going to turn any of those carbs into body fat, glucose into body fat through a process called de novo lipogenesis, before that can occur, uh, it needs to replenish glycogen stores. So by depleting glycogen stores before you go eat a bunch of carbs, um, I wouldn't really call it a, a hack because I hate the whole biohacking type. That's it's such a silly trend right now instead of just sticking to fundamentals. A lot of people get lost in trying to hack their metabolism with all kinds of weird workout routines and weird supplement routines and weird diet routines that ultimately just don't work or don't work nearly as well as, you know, control your food intake, balance your macronutrients, lift heavy weights, use cardio.
150,000, but I get my protein in and I get, you know, a bear. Turn left onto Union Church Road. Continue on Union Church Road for two miles. A basic number of amount of fat in for health reasons and just cut my carbs very low for the next day. Is it particularly fun? No, I mean, like, again, I, again, as I said, I don't really get that hungry. It doesn't bother me. Um, but one day of very low calorie isn't going to cause any issues. Very, very low calorie dieting causes issues when you do it for a long time. That's when it causes issues. So maybe I go... Sojourn. Friend for your PA. if I did these different Olympic lifts, I could li work out less and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. I'm not going to go to the gym and do that because that looks really boring. Yeah. So I'm just not going to work out at all. Yeah, no, I... Turn right to stay on Ryber Road. I understand. I mean, that's that's something that, uh, you need emailing with people that... Uh, I'm not I'm not an anti-CrossFit person. I think if you have a bad coach, it's a bad idea. And Continue on Ryber Road for three quarters of a mile. Uh, but if you have a good coach and you're not going to be stupid about it, um, I understand that having fun, you know, a group thing that you can go do with your friends and stuff. And especially if you're not, uh, if, because maybe it's not the best way to, that's for you. Like for me, I enjoy weightlifting. I, I like waking up early. I look forward to it. So it works. Yeah, it, it makes sense if you really like it. But and that, that's the same thing we teach at the Art of Charm, right? A lot of people go, oh, this is going to be painful. This is going to be awful. And if you're going up and approaching strangers or 
if you're a guy trying to date women or you're trying to pitch your business or you're trying to sell yourself in some way, it can be really awful. But if you gamify it, you make it fun, you get some positive feedback from it, then you won't be able to stop doing it, which is great. And it's the same thing with working out, right? You hate vegetables until you just tell your brain, In a quarter mile, turn left onto Pennsylvania 68 West. These are good and you enjoy them and then yeah. eventually that sort of sticks and now I'm the guy that's like, can we have Brussels sprouts for dinner? And my girlfriend's like, uh, okay. And my mom's like, who are you? <laughs> right? Because when I was a kid, I would throw those down the garbage disposal the second she went to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know. Turn left onto Pennsylvania 68 West, Evans City Road. So there's actually, there was a guy, um, I forget his name. He was like a, a known uh, chef guy, a celebrity chef guy. And he wrote a book where, I forget the name of it, The Man Who Ate Everything or something like that. And his thing was, uh, he made a list of all of uh, his foods that he didn't like. I mean, nasty shit, monkey brains and whatever. And he... Uh, Continue on Pennsylvania 68 West for three miles. Had to eat every one. I in a way that anyone can learn and master. So what I mean by that is, uh, and we specialize in, in men and dating advice and relationship building and networking for business and things like that. So guys will come in and anyone from SEAL Team 6, a Green Beret type guy, to entrepreneurs, to just college guys that are like, hey, I know that my people skills are what is going to differentiate me in the job market, so, so teach me Yoda, right? So we have a team of coaches, therapists, uh, all-star performers here, performance coaches, that teach people how to really sell themselves, manage first impressions, create really meaningful, solid connections with people, and we do that day in and day out in our week-long residential program. So guys flying from all over the world. In fact, I'm looking at my, my classroom now, and I've got quite an eclectic mix of guys from Denmark, Australia, the U.S., and Canada. Some doctors, a couple doctors, one is a surgeon, uh, military, U.S. Marine Special Forces. In a half mile, turn left onto Ash Stop Road. Um, uh, U.S. Army Intel, and we actually got wounded in action in Afghanistan, as well as a couple of just like software engineer types mm. and, and a sniper. So it's a really unique <laughs> mix, really unique mix, and a pro hockey player, actually. A pro hockey player as well, I forgot about Mike. So, Turn left onto Ash Stop Road, T-411. Essentially, a really eclectic mix of guys, not guys that tie their shoelaces together and not guys that have duct tape on their glasses and, you know, there, there's a few software... In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination. Engineers here and there, for sure, no yeah, yeah. doubt, but, but it's not just guys who are like, I've never had a girlfriend. It's usually guys who go, wait a minute, there's a thing out there that teaches a skill that I don't know that will give me a 5% edge or a 2% edge or a 1% edge in life. Yeah. Where do I sign up? And so it's really go-getters, action-takers, high performers that we see come through here. That's great, yeah. So it's not just your typical, because, you know, you add these dating, uh, the, I guess that's a whole world, right? Like all these pickup artists, all these cheap Yeah. Things, right? Yeah, that's exactly. a, I guess that's like the dark side of your, what you're doing. Huh? Yeah, and it's just like the cheesy side too, because yeah. guys go, how come your programs are residential and I can learn from this guy over the internet? And I'm like, because that guy just wants your money. Yeah, you know? and it's he's like, just going to sell you.